Yo guys, welcome back to Germany. Um, yeah, so this bloody war started uh, earlier than it should have. We said we would wait 10 turns and then uh, join Ethiopia and they went a bit early. So we've been called in already, um, yeah, which is a bit annoying, but we will just deal with it. So we weren't really quite done with Iroquois. I was going to take this city. Uh, I mean... We I feel like I should just peace out, really. Um, it's not like a big value city, if we're honest. And yeah, we can use it as strategic location if we peace out. So let's do that. Get them as a vassal as well. Oh my god, it's got kicked around. Okay, that's fine. I'm cool with that. So, yeah, I pushed them back over here. Uh, I did take Birka over here as well. We can potentially peace out with um, Sweden and make them a vassal as well. They were willing to peace out last turn. I guess they aren't now because we just took their city. But, um, you know, if we can, they'll probably take this one back and we take it back again and then hold on to them for two turns, I guess. And then uh, they will... Be cool with that. Should I annex this or raise it? Or pop it even. I am going to puppet it. We did make Leventa very big, so they now have three cities. I mean, I don't know if it's really going to do much. City-states don't seem to actually build that much in their cities, even when they have them. Um, but technically it might increase the amount of science that we get from them. From the... Uh, policy we have where we get 25% of their science. We'll see. I mean, so we're getting 6.1 from them. 6.61 from them. We'll see if that does go up. Uh, other than that, we lost the ability to actually get the alliance with some of these guys, which is a bit annoying. But um, there is Panama City is one more person who we can try and get the alliance with. Congress, we're going to try and repeal Scholars in Residence, I think, at the next session. So I do want to try and um, get as many texts as we can in that time. I've got this guy. I think I'm just going to use him. Uh, putting him down would be reasonable as well. We could have some bigger great scientists later. But I think just using him, like I said, we want to get as many texts as we can for Scholars in Residence. I don't know why. That hasn't finished that off, that's a bit annoying because I wanted to upgrade that guy. Ah, uh, you're chilling. Yeah, I was going to build bloody roads here. I mean railroads. Cool. So yeah, we'll try and finish off this war with Sweden and get them as a vassal as well. I don't really have time to go and conquer cities over here. And we will focus on this Brazil war. Also, um, we can build Brandenburg Gate, so I will do that. And I'm building military academies in all of our cities that have the orders as well. So um, we'll start making some more military units as well. Once we have Brandenburg Gate and military academies. Especially, you know, having even more boats so that we can have some over here and some over here. It's probably ideal. I would like to bring these guys over, but only after we've dealt with Sweden. And I mean, hopefully uh, Ethiopia will bring a lot of boats over here. Um, yeah, we'll see. Both of them should have industrialization, so they actually should have ironclads. I guess we shall find out. Okay, cool.
Okay, well, there's actually still an embassy available in Kabul, but I can't really get there. So, I guess we will try and send them over here. Oh yeah, this is orthodox guy. We might well use him. Right, let's get Brandenburg Gate done then. Uh, here, I shall make a cargo ship. Got a thousand faith. We just bought a great person, didn't we? So need an inquisitor for there as well. How far are we off on happiness? Well, if we lose our occupied or resisting cities on happiness, then it should be okay, but I don't know. Probably we would just get that on happiness anyway. Kind of works a bit differently to how it used to, doesn't it, with the whole happiness from occupied city situation. to hold on to this because they're going to be able to just keep taking it.
All right. Starting to win that religious battle now. <laughs> Just from Inquisitor in everywhere. Um, so yeah, pressure is better than Catholic pressure now as well. That is rather nice. And I'm thinking I push around here. Um, if we take Helsinki, that would definitely make them more likely to peace out. Alright, Frankfurt. Uh, yeah, build this. Might start converting places over to get orders everywhere soon. <laughs> you know, anywhere that has like all the stuff built and then builds military academies. Alright, cool. Yeah, it is a little bit hard to make progress, you know, when they just have a line of fuse of theirs. Can't really attack in and get out. I assume they have a city here which has an arsenal in. I don't know exactly what square, it's probably it's either this one or this one probably. Um And they got dudes with indirect fire as well. So, yeah, it's just a little bit hard to push forward until we've killed some units, I think. Or maybe we need some rows as well. All of this land is so badly improved. Like, <laughs> half of the things, like, there's not even roads. Some of the improvements still were never done, like camps. I don't know what Iroquois was doing this game, but it was not improving their land, I can tell you that. I should finish that stupid uh, constabulary quest, actually. Um, yeah, and we don't have tech advantage or anything, and we probably won't for a while. We'll see what we can do, though. artist soon. Interesting. Ah, nice. We've got that global monopoly on marble as well. I think that'll only be a plus 10% to culture. Because I think, um... It will have gone from 10% to 20% with the colonialism. I don't think it will. I think it will just. Yeah, I don't think it doubles both the 10% culture things that we have. Ah, we actually only have one now because we lost the T because of Kabul as well. Fair enough. Alright, we can take that city back relatively easily. I just wanted to get a good view there. So 
that is where the city is. Okay. All right, nice. We can actually get out of that then. Um, suppose we kill a unit here before we go. And that's about it. There's, I mean. Uh, Kill that guy, but really I should get moving. I wonder if I would actually probably get there quicker going around this way, wouldn't I? Uh, it's kind of similar. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's peace out though. Provided we can get this, which we can. Your listener. Decent. All right. That's three vassals already. And I guess now <laughs> we are going to have a long fucking journey with the boats. Um, okay, what are we building? Okay, a cargo ship there. That. That. Up there. Oh, I really wanted to buy these actually. No way I can get that extra money, I think. It's a shame. Alright, uh, let's move everything. Alright, cool. 
Yeah, I can now gonna put in some good work now. It's nice to see. So I was thinking, you know, I could start raising taxes. Uh, that's about a hundred gold a turn. I feel like it's not really necessary, and it would kind of lose us some votes probably. Uh, I think if they dislike us, they'll be much more likely to vote against us on stuff. And we would rather that didn't happen. Yeah, I brought my boat around here. Want to see what Ethiopia was up to. I thought they might have a fleet, but <laughs> it seems like they just got these guys. Who are really difficult to kill, to be fair. Although they're not in friendly land. We two combat strength is still quite a bit. Plus cover one and two. Ah, sure. I should actually uh, buy this, because that's a wheel of the king day. Oh yeah, we can kind of see what they think here. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, they can't afford all that. I mean... I suppose we can make them do that. And then at least they're not voting on this other stuff, because they actually are more likely to vote against us. Go with that. What quanuer? Ya zada sudra. Hmm, okay. Well, they don't want the sphere of influence. That's good at least. Uzogwenzani lab. Oh wow, the Zulus really hates us, man. Jesus. <laughs> I suppose we did conquer quite a few of his cities. I mean, we conquered quite a few of Iroquois as well. Yeah, I did want to become friends as well. That's pretty good. Maybe if we can convert Iroquois over, they actually might want to be friends. We didn't even conquer that much of Sweden though, so yeah, I'm not surprised, like, we have barely any negative modifiers with him.
Alright, that is quite deep. I didn't actually want that guy to kill him, but he did. A bit unfortunate. Um... Yeah, some road action could be good along here. I want to clear out units before we uh, start hitting the city, I think. Like, I doubt they have that good production, although they have quite a few cities, but... Ooh. Who's goes at first? Ethiopia, they'll probably conquer the city then. Right, nice. Um, public school done. Let's build that. We can buy a great person. We actually have a mission to get a merchant, which we ain't gonna get for ages. Oh, 14 turns. Okay. That ain't really ages. Alright, let's use this canal again then. Alright, I mean, it could be wider, has to be said. Um, <laughs> it's taking a while to get everyone through. Okay, we've got a great artist as well. I think it's probably time to do this. Golden Ages are very, very nice for us. I think we have multiple Golden Age length modifiers as well. Do I get science for using great people? Ah, oh, 60 from Glory of Blood. Cool. Ah, yes, and we buy a great person as well. Yeah, I mean, it's the mission, in it? Where do I actually want to put him? I suppose somewhere up here is better. Um, we have less good stuff to work. And we can send a caravan up there. From there to a city-state. To, like, try and get all of the... Um, town's hit. So probably this square. Nice. Trying to buy these uh, military academies as well. Bought that one, we can buy this one next turn. Also, yeah, two policies away from being able to go ideology. Ethiopia went order, it's not too surprising. They're already two on freedom, man. None of them are into that yet. That's good though. Supposed to be friends of Songhai, I guess. All of my vassals are best mates with them. Okay. I 
think we just go fucking crazy here, man. Ship noise. Let's get some more of these. Okay, um... Something is fucked up with the city. Like, I'm not allowed to build a courthouse. It's just fucking being weird, man. I thought I already built- there already are walls here. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I want that. Um, yeah, we managed to just send these guys over here, and I want to buy, um... Okay, let's find on that one, bro. Let's do that. Nice. I can actually buy this one as well. Sure. Oh, I need to delay this for one turn. Because I want to have this built. Although it actually should be built first. I'm pretty sure. Because it will go in order of the cities, right? Okay. 
Okay, let's move shit about. Alright, nice. Um, so... Basically, this city over here they actually didn't take. Which seems a little bit silly. So, I can take it. I don't know what to do with it. Ah, oh, that's kind of unfortunate actually that they all got pushed back. So I could actually liberate it. Which is kind of pointless, I think. If I if if we had that policy where we get stuff for liberating, which we will have when we take freedom, then I would. I think for now I'll annex it and I'll probably just let them take it back. Uh, maybe I should have puppeted it so I wasn't unhappy. Uh, I guess we can buy something. Did he just call me a sausage man? You're a sausage man. So also I think oh, I do need to buy that and it might be time to convert a city perhaps with our Eastern Orthodoxy guy. I mean we're going to want orders for example down here. I mean can I even, I don't even know that they would flip over to Eastern Orthodoxy is kind of the issue, don't have a missionary. Could annex this place and then get one. Like maybe I use it there because I'm pretty sure we would get. We actually don't. There's. We've got time, because we would still need to make a unit after we finish off the military academy anyway. The one with synagogues. Culture is very good now though. 17 turn golden age, nice. Should be permanent golden age from now on then. Quite easily. Factories next turn as well. Still need to get more coal. Uh, these commandos are a bit annoying. Of course we'll work together. Good stuff. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, let's definitely take the gold. Can I need that? It's cool, we can replace uh, lances and stuff. Like this guy we just got here. 90, so... Oh, what? He didn't get the bloody bonus from... Brandenburg, I think. It should be... Th no, he did. Alright, so you get 60 from Barracks, Armory and Military Academy. 15 from the Order. 15 from Brandenburg Gate. I'm used to also having 15 from um, Elite Forces as well, which is the Autocracy one. 
but it's still, you know, it's close to being um, level 5 straight away. Which is the ideal. Yerevan, man. Bloody Yerevan. I think we are actually doing all right here. They clearly can't kill the Fusiliers, so get a bit aggressive with them. We've got a lot of pillages we can do as well. Um, if they take, you know, 30, 40 damage, which seems like what they usually do. Uh, most of their units are quite weak. Um, these commandos are definitely killable. So are the musketmen and the cuirassiers in the rough terrain as well. It's not the best. And we got a bit of help over here. Uh, yeah, let's just get the fuck out of here, I think. Oh, I could have upgraded him. Whoops. Oh, well, we, we got much better boats, actually. So we upgraded. Which we definitely should do. And I suppose I should take this city as well. Okay. Ah, we can build this. I don't think we'll get it in time for three turns. And we shouldn't need it. You know, the scholars in residence is not actually a big deal. This would be annoying. I think a lot of people will vote on that anyway though. And yet, I don't think we'll get there in time, to be honest. I definitely do want factories in all these places so that they have maximum production Apparently 
Grand River has coal. Ah, okay. Still does seem kind of bugged there. I guess we'll pop it for now. I mean, it's only got three pops, so it's kind of shit. Maybe uh, in the future we can unpop it though. Alright, more cargo ships. Do you know what I wonder is if we if we sent two trade routes technically to Leventa, if we would get double the bonus, like the uh, influence per turn. So look, we're up to seven science from them. Oh my god, one more than there. Pretty big, man. Oh, we get seven and a half from here anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, just been sending it to wherever has lower influence. And all right, let's use this canal a bit more. All right, got a new great general as well. Um, and let's use you. I'll get there one day. Maybe I should have just waited a um, How about like Hamburg? Uh, for using this guy. for porcelain, we can only get that from uh, Hong Kong. That should be done soon. Constabularies. Two more of them. Let's actually get this mission done. I had two missions done, right? Yeah, we've got minus a thousand production on one of those cities as well. Cool. Alright, so the guy who's level three, you know, might be that we put him into somewhere else, like Sao Paulo or Belo Horizonte. And he can do the uh, damaging their defences thing. I feel like that would be rather useful. And let's try and push forward here. Once again.
I kind of fucked up here actually, I didn't really want this guy here, but we'll see how it goes. Ah, next policy, nice. Oh yeah, I forgot about this double construction speed of seaports and stuff, we already built all of them. Well, I mean train stations we can still build, but we'll probably be prioritising uh, factories. Like that one. And that one. a decent production city over here. Seems good to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't have a workshop. <laughs> um, about that. Earlier is at war with Brazil. For what that's worth. But they do look a bit sus down here. Alright, I guess uh, we'll end this part here anyway. Um, I do think that we are actually getting somewhere here because we push them back and then I think once we're in here they will struggle. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit over aggressive and I should just be chilling and knocking it down, but um you know, we're gonna have quite a few factories built quite soon. With all the military academies, we can really start spamming out units. Uh, our production should be super high. Uh yeah, once we've built as many factories as we can. Ah, oh, somebody did get corporations. Must be Ethiopia. Maybe the scholars in residence is uh, not necessary then to get rid of. They do actually seem to be keeping up quite reasonably in science. I would have thought... I mean, I would imagine we overtake them somewhat soon, but it's not like we're really using great scientists massively. I don't have enough faith to buy many. Um, so maybe not, maybe we do just ignore the scholars in residence um, and just make sure we keep the sphere of influence. Don't really care about the sanctioning, although it would reduce the amount of resources we have. Um, happiness is reasonable though, which is nice. And yeah, once we get to corporations, we can build the food court, and then we can completely sort out happiness. I don't think Ethiopia has that option, I'm pretty sure. Gems and pearls are not the food ones. Brazil actually could though, because they have salt. So, might need to use a great scientist to make sure that we get there before them. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they went there first or so. Um, yeah. We'll reassign that guy. What we're gonna get? 400 science, it's not a lot. Oh, I guess I should do these. I mean, anywhere we're actually getting quests done, we should do them. And 24 votes. Um, you know, we'll keep spreading the religion out. 
I would like to get a great profit at some point. We can then convert uh, Zulus and uh, Iroquois over to our religion. That will get us another two votes. And if we could get uh, Sweden as well, that would be three more votes. Do you know what? If we wait until we have Borobudur, then we'll have five spreads on our great profit. We can just use one great profit. Be like two Iroquois cities. Uh, one Swedish, or two Swedish, and the one Zulu one, and we'll have it done. Which seems nice, and the boats will arrive soon as well. At which point I'm pretty sure all of these cities are quite fucked. Uh, I doubt they have a big fleet. You never know, but I doubt it. Cool guys, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part.